I Am Not Batman by Marco Ramirez. It's the middle of the night and the sky is glowing like a mad radioactive red. And if you look up high enough, you could see me standing on the edge of an 87-story building. And I'm fucking Batman. From where I am, I could hear everything. Somewhere there's a man in a janitor's uniform, stumbling home drunk and dizzy from work. And uh, half a block away from janitor man, there's a group of good-for-nothings, ready to beat janitor man with rusted bicycle chains. But they don't count on me, and they don't count on the dark night, because they rather believe that I didn't exist. And from 87 stories high, I hear one of them say, Give me the fucking cash! So I swoop down like mad fast, and I'm like, swoosh! I throw a batarang at one naked light bulb, shink, and they're all like, whoa, who just turned out the lights? One of the three good-for-nothings gets it to the head. Bow! And the other one comes at me, but I go, bruh, <laughs> right in the gut. And the third one comes at me with a jump kick, but I know judo karate, so I'm like, bah, chicka chicka bah, bah, bah. <laughs> But just for a second, everything stopped. And I hear a click, click. And one of the good for nothings is, is gripping a handgun and, and holds it up like he's threatening to blow a hole in the moon. And the drunk man, the, the janitor man, is huddled in the corner praying. And there is me. My eyes glowing white. Got my cape. Blowing softly in the wind, my, my bulletproof chest is heaving, my, my heart is beating. And the one good for nothing with the handgun, yeah, he laughs. As he lowers his arm and points it right between my pointy ears. Just for a second. I feel like. Like, I'm gonna lose. Nah! Bah! Chicka -cha -wah -ha -ha -ha! Bah! And I'm standing over him with a gun in my hand now. And I hate guns, because Batman's parents got iced by guns a long time ago. But just for a second, I hold this thing. Click, click! And the good for nothings become good for disappearing! And it's, it's just me and Janitor Man. So I go over to him and I, and I pick him up by the collar and I say two words to him. Go home. And he does. And I, um... And I swoosh from every building to building on his way there, because, well, I know where he lives, and I, and I watch as his hands tremble as he opens the door to my building. And I'm, um, and I'm back in bed before he walks in through the front door, and I, I hear his footsteps get slower and slower as he gets to my room, and, and he creaks my door open like mad slow. Takes a step in, which she never does. I act like I'm just waking up, and and I'm like, um, "What's up, Pop?" The janitor man says nothing to me. Yeah, but I see in the dark. I see his arms go limp, and his head turns back towards me, so I could see his face. So I could see his eyes. And his cheeks are... 
and they're, they're dripping, but not because of sweat. He just stands there, breathing, like, uh, like, like he remembers my eyes glowing white. Like he remembers my bulletproof chest. Like he remembers he's my top. And he turns around, a hand on the doorknob. And he ain't looking my way. But I hear him mumble two words to me. I'm sorry. And I lean over. And open my window just a crack. If you could look up high enough, you could see me, and from where I am. I could hear everything. 